yeah, it's been a test series full of ups and downs, I think, from a team's point of view and a personal point of view as well. I think India's probably the hardest place to come and win. It's hardest, pro- probably the hardest place for a batter to come and score a lot of runs in a series against, in their conditions against, uh, especially the best spinners in the world, and I guess well, someone like Bummer as well. So it's been... It's been a very enjoyable tour and it's been a tour where we've kind of pushed hard, but unfortunately haven't been quite good enough in the last few games for a couple of days. And I guess the annoying thing from our point of view is we've been right in the game and pushed them right to the end for other than that third test where they sort of won pretty easy in the end. But we feel like for the rest of it, it's been it's been pretty neck and neck for a lot of the games that we played and ended up on the wrong results, which is frustrating. Um, but I feel like the way we've gone about our cricket has been good. Um, it's been a good good brand that we've played. We've kept trying to throw punches at them, even when they've sort of been in the driving seat. Um, uh, and yeah, like I said, from a personal point as well, it's the, I've had the highs of the 197 and then had the lows of getting a pair. So uh, it, that's, that's in me for you, though. <clears throat> one of the toughest places to come to, like I said. Uh, but we got one more test, obviously, in Dharmashala, and I think if we can win that, and get it, get it to three two. It's a very, it's frustrating to not be three two up, but it's a very respectable scoreline. Yeah, Test cricket for me is the number one format uh, of the game. Um, I mean, it's it's the biggest challenge, as a bit of a cliche, but as a reason they call it Test cricket is because it's because it challenges you on the pitch and off the pitch as well. Especially when things don't go well, you've got to keep rocking up for a lot of the time, five days on the bounce. And if you're having a tough week, you've got to find a way to sort of front up and and you can learn a lot about someone's character just just by watching how they can go about a test match or especially a five match series in something like India so um I think that's one great thing and then I think just a feeling of winning a winning a test match a good test match irrelevant of what's happening in the series if you if you win a good test match late on day four day five then sort of walking off and being able to have a beer at the end of a, a long hard week is is very a very satisfying feeling um i mean i love all formats of the game a bit of a cricket nuffy but uh i think test cricket is always going to be the number one for me and i think the way it's going as well there's still a lot of people who believe that um and i think we've seen some amazing test matches played recently uh i guess the ones that we've been involved in and then what happened uh in australia with west indies as well so i think uh, and i hope test cricket keeps on rising up and up yeah, I think the leadership style of Stokesy and Baz has sort of allowed players to free up a little bit um, and not dwell on the tough days and enjoy the good days. Um, and I think the best examples of what they've done for this team are guys like Bashir coming in last week and took t- he bowled he barely bowled a bad ball in about seventy overs and it just amazed me at how someone can come and do that at his age. Uh, but I think it's that's credit and the biggest compliment and. I think what they take pride in is seeing a performance like that. Uh, I When I was making my debut, I feel like it took me probably four or five games to actually feel like I not belong, but have the confidence to go and play like I know I can play. So the sort of the positivity and the, the, the freeness that they sort of instill and the confidence in the players is has just allowed them to come in and just perform at that age when they've not played a lot of first-class cricket straight away, which is just a massive sort of nod towards those two and then um, for me I think it's on the pitch I I feel like I, I read the game fairly well so I can sort of help Stokesy out with sort of tactics for batters for field positions so I constantly probably especially if there's a bit of a partnership and when you're playing in India in England it's slightly easier you kind of go right well I've three slips and we'll try and nick the batter off and try get it swinging. So, but in India, you kind of, a lot of the time you need different tactics and creative ways of trying to take wickets. So that's one thing. And then off the pitch, I think it's just it's similar to the messages that they sort of push through is, I guess, coming from a slightly younger guy, it, I guess it can be a bit more relatable than someone like Stokes. He obviously has done hell of a lot in the game, played in now hundred tests as well. So I guess if I can sort of keep instilling the same messages, in a slightly different way, then that's going to be a benefit for the younger guys in the team too. I've been playing a lot of darts. I think I play a lot, mostly with Gus Atkinson uh, and Jimmy Anderson when he's not playing cards. Um, I mean, pretty much have played probably 95% of the days on this trip or 90% have been playing darts. I think I've got better. 
I, I know I've got better. I'm still not. I'm still not amazing, but you'd hope so after having about nearly two months of practicing. Um, and yeah, it's a nice way to unwind, especially after a long day in the field or depend irrelevant of how the day goes with the bat. It's a nice thing just to get back to and sort of take your mind away, especially coming to India. It's slightly different sort of circumstances. You don't really leave the hotel in the evening. So it's a nice thing to have. Uh, Jimmy's, Jimmy Anderson's definitely the best darts player. Um, I mean, he knows all his checkouts and yeah, he wipes the floor. So whenever I win a leg off him, it's a pretty good feeling. Um, but he's definitely number one. Uh, and I'd probably, probably slightly better than Gus Atkinson now, although he wouldn't agree with that. Um, and to be honest, if I'm being real, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm not, I'm not there yet, but I'm, I'm getting close. And then a lot of the guys play darts every night. I think there's, I think that sometimes they have 12, 12, sorry, uh, play cards every night. And sometimes they have, um, yeah, as many as 12 of them just at a table. And they're, they're relentless with it as well. Same as myself with darts. They'll play every night after the test, even if they've been in the field for 90 overs, they'll, they'll be sat there for a good two hours most nights. Just I'm not even sure what game they play. Um, but uh, yeah, they seem to enjoy it. Yeah, there's always the, the leaders, uh, in those sort of social situations. I think Mark Woods is a character and he's got a lot of energy and he's always keen to play. So he's, I think, and Zach, Zach Crawley, I think might be one of them as well, but those guys, quite sociable guys. Um, there's a few guys who kind of just want to chill in the evenings and sort of someone like, oh, Ben Folks plays a bit of darts, but after a long day, he'll often just sort of shut his room for the night and just try to get an early night. Um, but yeah, I think it's a very sociable team that, and the guys just love spending time with each other rather than just sitting in the hotel room. And it's a nice way, like I said, to switch off from, from the day's play. So, um, the, there's, yeah. And I think it's encouraged as well. I think the closer we are as a unit, um, the better we're going to be, especially when the times get tough is if we know each other's games, know each other's personalities better than that's only going to help us as a team in the long run as well. Yeah. I had, uh, in Abu Dhabi had my girlfriend come out uh, and all the guys, partners and then guys with sort of kids as well. They, they came out as well. So that, that was really nice. And then um, luckily enough, my, my sister's actually moved out to Sydney and my parents have said they'll try to go once a year to Sydney and they've happened to go now. And I think our, our managers managed to squeeze them into Dharma Shala um, for the last test, which would be very special. It's always nice having your family there. Obviously they they're the reason that I'm sort of playing in the England team now with their sacrifices. So to be able to sort of get them out and watch the test matches is, is a, sort of a bit of a treat for me as well as them. So that's um, that's really nice to have and something I'm looking forward to sort of sharing another good England experience, hopefully uh, with them.